My name is Scott Murphy from the Advanced Technical Service Department, and we're going to review today the proper procedures for checking the algorithm and changing the algorithm on the Delta Q battery chargers. This is going to be applicable for the 24 volt charger and the 36 volt. Okay, first thing to do is that to, to check the algorithm is just to open your battery compartment up, and you can see we have the Anderson charging connector here, and we're going to separate that. So just grip it and separate it. That's the first step. I'm pointing at the, the Delta Q battery charger, of course, that's bolted to a mounting bracket at the right rear of the machine. At this time, I'm going to plug in the charging cord to a line voltage. And you can notice that uh, all the lights came on. This is just a test. Just like when maybe you start your automobile up, you have a lot of your dash panel lights come on. This is just to show us that the, all the lights are functional on the Delta Q interface. Now, uh, I'm going to unplug it again. And uh, we'll let you see it a second time. I'm going to allow this uh, red light to uh, go out. That uh, is really a fault light, and it's lighting because I've disconnected the battery. Okay, right now we're going to go through, we're going to uh, plug it back in, and we're actually going to look for, in this case, this is the 80% charge light. That light is going to have a certain blinking sequence. And we have 11 seconds after I plug it back together to read that blinking sequence, and that'll tell us what's programmed into the charger at this particular time. So let's do that. Okay, you can see that now this red light came on. We've used that allowed 11 seconds. Uh, you're going to maybe unplug this, allow the light to go out, and you're going to go through uh, maybe quite a few, uh, not quite a few, but maybe two, three uh, plugging sequences so that you can confirm because maybe you're not used to picking up that blinking light. So we're going to be ready to go here and maybe I can count off some of the blinks for us, okay? Again, we're going to be looking for this blinking light here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. See, all of a sudden it stopped again. So right now we have a we have a seven that's set up for this particular machine. So at this time I would look at a chart. There's a lot of materials that are uh, you're going to find in your packing materials with your operator manual and your uh, parts list that's found with each machine. This is the official materials that are actually published by Delta Q. These is the steps that we're reviewing right here, just so you have a, a point of reference. So at this particular time, we have a, a seven algorithm. We'd look in our chart, and that would be good for the J305 battery, which is the battery that can be put in. In this case, we're working with an enhancer. Okay, right now, algorithm seven is what I'm pointing to. As you can see that we have algorithms one to 43. These are the ones that are programmed into the advanced machine, warrior convertomatic and enhancers. Okay, we've uh, of course had the machine's battery packed unplugged so that we could go to the back of the machine uh, and of course with the AC line cord plugged in and just check which algorithm was blinking just to know what was set up. Now we're going to make a change. Well to make a change we're going to plug this battery connector back in and it's important for us now to maybe get a half inch wrench and we're going to come up on our master positive on our battery here and we're going to what? Loosen that nut and washer up, put the nut and the washer away and I'm going to be able to pull my master uh, positive connection that's going to go back into our control panel and communicate with the charger. Again. Okay, at this time we're going to uh, show you how you were going to sort of do what we call the manual telegraphic method. It means we're going to, just like a telegraph, we're going to be touching this positive ring terminal to its post and we'll bring it up and we'll count a thousand one, thousand two, thousand three and pull it away. Now every time we do that, we'll get that 80% light to go to the next registered programmed algorithm that the Delta Q charger has programmed into it. It'll hold 10 of them, so we'll go to the next algorithm and you'll reference the sheet that came with your charger. So at this time we'll 
uh, will actually take a peek at our 80% light. Okay, we've plugged in our line cord. We have our positive post disconnected. And at this time, we'll just, what, do this 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You can see there's just some different blinking rates. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You can see where this number one light is blinking. I've changed it to a three. You'll be able to use the first six lights to determine your algorithm numbers one through six. Anything other than that will be off the scale and you'll always have to check with the indicator light, okay? The 80% light. So at this particular time, I'm on three. I'm gonna what? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Uh, so, yeah, there we go, we're on a four now. I'm gonna set this one up for four. So at this particular time, I'm going to just, we're just going to stop here. We're actually going to confirm an algorithm four. Okay. 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 okay we're going to, we're going to actually confirm, you know, we have the four blinking lights on our 80% back on our LED display on the Curtis controller. Now to lock that in, to, to make that permanent, that's what we want to have the battery charger operate under. We're going to take this positive post and touch it for 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and I won't count anymore, but will be 10 seconds. Well, at the end of 10 seconds, you'll notice that you're, you'll hear an audible click in your Delta Q charger, and you'll know that you've set it then. So I've heard that click. Now we'll just attach the battery post back on, put our hardware back on, and we're ready to what? Have this set up for a, an algorithm four. Okay, now we've got this set at number four, and I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. I'm going to stop, so see if we can pick up the click of the relay. Here we go. Now we've confirmed our number four setting. So we've changed from a seven to a four. Now we're able to what? Disconnect the line cord. We connect the positive battery post, and if we plug it back in, we start our charge cycle. We have some information that we emphasized uh, in regards to some instructional materials. I'm pointing to the table that shows the 10 programmed algorithms that Advanced Machine is using in its Convertomatics, Enhancers, and Warriors. Again, we were looking at seven. We changed it to a four. You can see the list of the different manufactured batteries that would be keyed to the proper charging algorithms.